Once upon a time there were two friends in a small village named Dharm Buddhi, virtuous mind or right mind, and Papa Buddhi, wicked mind or wrong mind. One day, the wicked of the two, Papa Buddhi, thought to himself that he was poor and lacked the knowledge to earn for himself. He thought of taking Dharm Buddhi to another kingdom and use his skills to make money. If I can deprive him of all the earnings, I can have all the money for myself and live happily. After some time, he met Dharm Buddhi. My friend, we need to earn money to provide for ourselves when we grow old. Let us travel to some other kingdom to earn money. Besides, unless we travel to far off kingdoms, we will not have any stories to tell our grandchildren. Dharm Buddhi agreed to his plan. and on an auspicious day they began their journey the two of them made a lot of money due to dharm buddhi's skills and knowledge after some time pleased with their earnings they planned to return home on their way to their home as they approached their village pap buddhi said to dharm buddhi friend it will be improper for us to carry so much money home as all our friends and relatives will start requesting us money Besides there is danger of theft let us bury the money in the jungle where nobody will find it after taking only a nominal amount for our needs whenever we need some money we can come back together and dig it up without doubting his intentions dharm buddhi agreed they buried most of the money beneath a tree and returned home with only a handful of money few days later Pap Buddhi, wrong-minded as he was, went to the jungle alone in the dead of the night. He uncovered all the money they had buried together, took out all the money, and closed the pit as it was before. He returned back home with all the money and hid it. After a few days, pretending that nothing has happened, he went to meet Dharm Buddhi. Friend, I have a large family. and the money i had come with have been spent already let us go together to the place we have buried our money to fetch some more dharm buddhi agreed and together they went to the place they had buried their money and dug up the pit but they found the money was not there pap buddhi started beating his head and blamed dharm buddhi it is you no doubt Nobody else knew where we have buried the money. You have stolen all the money for yourself. If you do not give me my half of the money, I shall go and complain to the village elders for justice. Taken aback, Dharm Buddhi protested, "I have committed no such theft. Don't put the blame on me as I am a virtuous man." And so they started quarreling and visited the village elders for justice the elders asked them to pledge before the fire god to find the truth pap buddhi suggested before pledging before the fire god we can request the spirit of the tree to stand witness it was in front of a big tree that we had buried all the money and it may be able to reveal to us who the thief is the judges agreed and said that they would go the jungle together and request the spirit of the tree to reveal the truth to them and if that fails they would take pledge before the fire god pap buddhi immediately went home to his father i have stolen a huge amount of money from dharm buddhi and we have taken the matter to the village elders your cooperation will save me and put the blame on dharm buddhi otherwise i shall not only lose the money but face the risk of losing my life for stealing my son tell me how i can help you so you don't have to part from the money there is a huge hollow inside the big tree where we had buried the money you have to get inside the hollow before morning when all of us go to the jungle as request the spirit of the tree to reveal the truth You have to shout from inside that Dharm Buddhi is the real thief. I can handle the rest. As agreed, 
His father went to the jungle and hid himself in the hollow of the tree early next morning. After some time, accompanied by the elders of the village, both Dharam Buddhi and Pap Buddhi led themselves to the huge tree where they had buried their money. Pap Buddhi asked in a loud voice, "O oh spirit of the tree, please tell us who the thief is, as we have a confrontation and the village elders have come to seek the truth." Immediately, Pap Buddhi's father replied from inside the hollow of the tree. Listen all who seek the truth. Dharma Buddhi is the thief who has stolen all the money. The village elders were surprised how the spirit of the tree had revealed the truth. They immediately started discussing amongst themselves how they should punish for Dharma Buddhi's guilt. Meanwhile, when Dharma Buddhi heard the tree spirit's words, he was convinced that something was wrong. The tree spirit, if indeed it spoke the truth, was lying. That cannot be possible. Dharma Buddhi examined the hollow of the tree and placed a pile of dried leaves and grass in front of it. He then ignited the heap. When the fire started flaring up, Pap Buddhi's father could not bear the heat and the smoke inside the hollow any longer. He came out with burns in his body, crying for pity. The village elders were surprised to find him coming outside from the hollow of the tree. They asked, "What were you doing here? And what has happened to you?" He at once confessed his part and explained the village elders what his son had done. Thus, the village elders came to know of the truth and decided to punish Pap Buddhi for his guilt for theft, to blame it on Dharm Buddhi and misleading the village elders. The moral of the story is avoid the company of the wicked or you will pay a heavy price for it. The tale of right mind and wrong mind reminds us that truth and virtue always triumph in the end. Thank you so much for watching the video. Enjoy our stories. Hit the subscribe button and never miss another tale.